New inflation data is showing Americans are paying more for everyday items. The consumer price index was up 3.2 percent in February versus the same time last year. ABC's Elizabeth Shelsey is standing by to break it all down for us. Elizabeth, what does this mean for our wallets and, and where did we see the biggest uptick in inflation? Hey, Diane. Well, you know, the biggest uptakes are really in places where you would notice a lot in your day-to-day -day expenses. The two culprits here were rent and gas prices. Combined, those two areas accounted for about 60 percent of all of the increase in the consumer price index in February. And as you point out, this was a little bit higher price increase than expected. Overall, the trend is improving. I mean, remember, we were talking about an inflation rate of 9 percent back in 2022. 3.2 percent is definitely a lot better than that. But we've been stuck at this 3 percent level for a little bit and what that means is that you are seeing those price gains in a lot of those day-to-day -day places even though prices aren't going up as fast they are still going up in a lot of those areas uh, also one thing i want to point out diane clothes and car insurance two of the other big culprits when you're looking at where your expenses are on a month-to-month -month basis now this is a closely watched metric for the federal reserve so how will this impact its interest rate policy as we look ahead to its meeting next week Right. This is always the closely watched metric because the Fed is all about trying to get inflation back to 2 percent. Right now, as we point out, we're at 3 percent. The Fed has said it's going to be a little bit more patient here as it's looking at this data. It wants to lower interest rates. It wants to lower those borrowing costs, which would affect your credit card, your mortgage. But ultimately, it might take a little bit longer if inflation proves that it's going to be sticky if these prices are stubbornly high. So a lot of analysts are looking at June for the first Fed rate cut. Unlikely that it's going to come before that at this point. So what that means, if you're trying to hold out for those lower rates, you might have to wait a little bit longer. The flip side of that is if you have money in the bank, if you have savings, you should still be earning more on that money, more interest, because it could be a little bit longer before those interest rates get cut, Diane. All right, ABC's Elizabeth Shelsey, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.